The power and data market for products on the soldier is only going to be increasing as time goes on. The more and more devices that soldiers throw onto their load carriage means that they're going to need more power, more batteries and faster data. So essentially what we've been showing today is really what I think of as the glue for sticking the future soldier together. The what we're calling now the soldier electronic architecture, which is the piece that allows one sensor to talk to another processor, to talk to another device. It's a, a USB 2 powered hub providing the power for all of the uh, ancillaries required by the soldier, as well as all of the data connecting that to an end user device. It increases your capability set. So not only now do you have separate discrete capabilities, but you have the ability to share that data between devices. So put in sensor data onto EUDs or heads up displays, but also then to share that across your team and across your company. One thing that's really different is the whole on-body wireless. So we are seeing better power delivery systems, better data rates, the real step changes. Can we do that wirelessly on body, remove that, that cable? It's the first time some of the stakeholders have seen these advanced technologies being used as demonstrations and not just as white papers. We need to have those capabilities that are there to give us that, that winning edge. And the way you do that is by linking things in and you can create capabilities incredibly quickly using software now, rather than having to generate whole new hardware every time. Rapidly combining capabilities to have a whole new range of effects.